a bit cold. Today we'll be talking about why you need a website. Or do you? You always hear Peter McKinnon and Tyler Stallman talking about why you need a website, but are they just saying that for the Squarespace ad? I've been a so-called filmmaker photographer for the last three-ish years, and I've never had a website. Why? I wrote off the idea because I felt I was just a small creator in the midst of everyone else, and I didn't think anyone was gonna look at it. But my mindset's changed. One of my biggest dilemmas has been that it costs money. Why would I spend money on a website if it just sits there collecting dust? Recently, Trevor told me one thing that, that flipped my perspective. Trevor's had a website now for, I wanna say three-ish years as a photographer filmmaker, and that website helped him actually get the current job he has now. The job he obtained from the help of his website has already made up for all the money spent on his website in the last few years. Sometimes I forget this, but spending money on a website is another form of investing yourself, and as a so-called filmmaker photographer, I need to be doing that. <laughs> oh, I almost died too. Uh oh. No! Our table! Ripped through my uh. <laughs> I ripped through. I ripped through the coat. You ripped through our tears? Yep. <gasps> In the beginning stages of my photography, Instagram seemed to work just fine as a portfolio. I shot different events and anybody that wanted to see my photos, I would just send my Instagram to them and go from there. Although that worked for the low level drift events, it didn't seem to work as well for the more professional ones. As I grew in the automotive community as a photographer, I would start applying for media positions in out of state drift events, drift competitions, things like that. When you start applying for these media positions, they'll ask you for your website or portfolio. Well, I didn't have one. I had to make a Google Drive folder and upload 10-ish photos, sent it to him, and hope it would work. Then we'd be emailing back and forth, permission for the folder, sometimes it didn't work, dog got involved somehow, I don't even have a dog. It was a hassle. But even after all of those problems, I still didn't make a website. Not sure why, to be honest. Maybe it was the lack of confidence in myself as a photographer. Link to how to beat imposter syndrome video right here. Go watch it after this one. <laughs> it wasn't until last summer when I was doing travel photography that I made a website, a free website, and it worked, but I was very limited at what I could do. I could only upload a hundred photos to the entire website. It kind of sucks. I would always go back and forth with the idea of making a Squarespace account. The ultimate one-stop shop for all your website needs. This video is sponsored by, nah, JK. Is it really worth it? $23 a month, if paid annually, is a lot of money. In the grand scheme of things, it's really not. I have no problem spending thousands of dollars on camera gear, so why can't I spend a measly $30 a month on a website where clients can see my portfolio? In the words of Tyler Stallman, your website is your little slice of the internet. At least I think he said that. How about this? In the words of Peter McKinnon, your social media is not your portfolio and it needs a dedicated space for it. I fact checked that one, link in the description to where he talks about that. So I finally did it. Was it worth it? I want you to tell me. Head over to my website, link in the description. Give me some feedback. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I promise this wasn't a big scheme for you to go in the description, click the link to my website, and see all the rad work I do. Or was it? Thank you so much for watching, and if you're interested in a website, I highly recommend Squarespace. It is super easy setting up a beautiful website using their templates. Man, this really sounds like an ad. I love you guys, and as always, I post every single Saturday, so stay tuned for next week. Live your life, have fun, and we'll see you next time. I need a C70. This 30 minute record limit and potential overheating is really bugging me, bruh.